professor in the W.E.B. Du Bois Department of Afro-American Studies at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. I also serve as a faculty advisor to the chancellor for diversity and excellence. And I'm very happy to have participated today in this program, Discovering African-American Heritage in Springfield, the Struggle for Freedom. Can you tell us about this project, how it came about, and your, your uh, role in the whole process? Thank you so much. Uh, essentially, I uh, was discussing with Ms. Hood, uh, always been discussing with Ms. Hood, my interest in being more involved, doing what I can to uh, contribute to the programming, the wonderful programming of the Pan-African Historical Museum USA. We were looking at February, Black History Month. We were looking at the fact that the birthday of W.E.B. Du Bois fell on a Saturday, and we said, well, let's do something. And then we began thinking, well, what would really honor uh, Dr. Du Bois, what would really be a good program for the community, and we then realized that uh, with uh, Joe Carvalho and uh, Wayne Fenneff and uh, Todd uh, Besser there collaborating on this uh, book that was forthcoming, that this would be an excellent opportunity to talk about Springfield's African American heritage. The struggle for freedom. Now, um, the book is going to be coming out soon, and uh, how, uh, how did you come up with the individuals that uh, are on, or that are pictured, that pictured in this particular um, display, sure. and even the name? So, uh, what we learned at the uh, at the conversation today with uh, Wayne Fanoff and Joe Carvalho, Joseph Carvalho, is that they've been collaborating on different aspects of uh, African American heritage, uh, Black uh, Springfield history for many years. Uh, Joe Carvalho's uh, former uh, 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 executive director of the Springfield Museums, um, and uh, Wayne Fanoff has been looking in different topics. Uh, both of them go back to the 90s on trying to do something to bring out more of the African American stories of, of Springfield, and so their collaborations go back quite a way. Uh, it's coming to the forefront now in this new book, and again, we wanted to be right there on the cutting edge of uh, letting the community know through Pamusa of, uh, of what's going on. Uh, we had an excellent program uh, addressing the struggle for freedom, looking at things from all the way back to the, the, uh, the middle of the 1600s and taking it all the way to now, 2013. So we're talking then about um, you know, nearly uh, uh, four decades, four centuries, nearly four centuries of history that uh, that they're covering uh, in terms of the, the the story of the African American presence in Springfield. So, with that, um, this uh, 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 as Wayne Fanoff was pointing out from the Springfield Republican, looks at various people who are uh, all been a part of the making of, of history in Springfield, from Reverend Fuller Love to Sojourner Truth to uh, Martin Luther King, who comes here on many occasions, um, to Ms. Ruth Loving, uh, Mum Beth, um, and uh, uh, of course all the way here to Governor Deval Patrick and Barack Obama, kind of making history today as the governor of this state and the president of the United States at the same time. So, you know, looking at all this history, seeing what does it really kind of tell us about our world, about uh, our, our times, and, and what we can learn and discover from this, 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 this long heritage of African Americans in Massachusetts. This is such an awesome feeling for our, us, our community, and I know it must be a great joy to you. Very good to be a part of it all. Thank you all for, for opening up Palmosa for this. You're more than welcome. All right. And this is a very famous man who has not had the notoriety until very recently. This is a very early picture of J.B. Bradley. Who has given us, and it's a big part of the book, he's given us a chance to tell the story of what the, the entertainment, the black entertainment was like in the 1950s and 60s. And it's a story that, you know, we, we got a phone call the other day from somebody who thought he knew everything about Springfield and said, I'm ashamed. I never knew this story. You know? And uh, a lot of us felt the same way. And it was just, we, Luana was responsible for getting us together and we got together and it was just 
magical with all, with all the material that he had. Oh, Mr. Bass, thank you very much for covering this there. The uh, Republican did a wonderful expose article uh, with uh, Mr. J.B. Bradley and his story and the famous uh, photographs he took of many, whether well, local people and many famous people before they became famous people. And it just, I love history. It caught my eye of the work. He's a fascinating young man here, but it caught my eye on he met uh, or he was dealing with Dr. King, uh, Muhammad Ali, and others before uh, they had risen to being world famous. And they spent a lot of time here in Springfield with Mr. Bradley. He was sort of the ace photographer. And uh, it was also great that I saw a wedding picture of my chief of staff's mother and father, Ray and Don and Jordan, and some other photos of uh, the books that he gave me, which will be on my desk here, my history corner here, uh, of a lot of famous local people. But I, it just caught me about the history of the city of Springfield. He's a very humble guy, by the way, and has a, uh, a great background. We just we sat for about a half hour now. We had coffee with his family, and we reminisced, and we talked about the good old days. Let me tell you, some of those days, the respect that was around, I wish we had some more of that respect for some of our younger people. So that's my story about Mr. Bradley, and I'm sure Mr. Bradley would like to say a couple things. <clears throat> well, I'm very pleased that the mayor taking time out to send me a letter out of all the years, you know, that I have worked in this city, never getting the recognition. And like I had uh, told you and my son to do up the film on me, so when I pass, y'all could run the tape. He'll be around for a while. <laughs> but now, thank God I'd be around now. I'll be able to see some of them before I pass on to another, another world. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you. Thank you. He's like the eighth wonder of the world. What a treasure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bass, for putting this on. And to the young people, uh, respect history, respect your elders, okay? And respect yourself. We'll be a better sprinkler for that. God bless.